last time I did the tech talk, we spoke about the casting itself. And now just for the new guys out there, just a few tips when it comes to casting, how to prevent the overwind. Um, throwing overwinds can be very irritating and time, time consuming in your fishing, so you want to try and prevent that as much as possible. The first tip I can give you is when you're reeling in. Make sure your line is, is wet, so before you're reeling, dip your rod in the water, wet your line a bit, and then reel in your line nice and evenly on the spool. Take your line evenly from left to right, so when you're casting, you don't have a jerk action on that reel. Um, with the line not lying nice and straight, which will generally cause an overwind. The next step I can give you is to just wet your line slightly before you cast. You don't want to cast with dry fingers because the thumb which you're going to troll your spool and your line is going to be sticky and that's also going to cause a jerk action on the, on the spool. So basically you do is put a little bit of water on the line itself. You try not to wet your reel, obviously it's not good for your reel. So you scoop a little bit of water without any sand and just put it on the line itself and also your casting thumb, make sure that's nice and wet before you cast. And then my last step when it comes to casting is your leading knot. Every angler holds his spool differently when he casts. Some anglers control the spool with their thumb on the line and other anglers control the, the spool with their, th with their thumbs on the side of the spool. I try and, and keep my thumb just on the left hand side of my spool when I cast. So the tip I want to give you is keep a leading knot away from your thumb when you cast. So if you hold your thumb on the left hand side of the spool, when you're reeling, place your leader knot on the right hand side of the spool. So when you cast, that leader knot doesn't grab your thumb and once again cause, cause a jerk action or maybe hurt your thumb where you release the spool and it causes an overwind. 